What's up guys, Steez here and welcome back to the Beginner's Guide How to Survive in Project Zomboid. If you've been following along with the series, we came in down here to the drive-in movie theater. We uh, lured all the zombies away. We found ourselves a good quality car here uh, with gas ready to go and we started with our burglar build. So we are uh, we have a car, we have it running. Uh, so what's next you might ask? Well, we're going to go across the street here and uh, get sorted out on food and water. And uh, then we're going to make a trip across the map. But let's go see. Um, now, depending on how the zombies look over here, we may either do another pull. Now, we could always use this fence again. This area, as we know, is already clear. So if we want, we could pull. We could round up a bunch of zombies and pull them back over to the fence and jump over if we have to. Yeah, there's definitely a few boys around here. So that's probably what we're going to do. Because uh, I want to have, uh, I want to be able to pull up to the pumps here and get the car filled up with gas. I mean, it's it's mostly full, but let's just assume, you know, for the sake of the video, if you got a car and it didn't have a huge amount of gas, uh, you know, you might you're gonna need gas. So we're gonna want to round up all these boys. Ooh, that guy has an axe. I kind of want that. I wonder if we can get this axe. Oh, that was perfect that we one shot that guy. So that guy's dead. So we're going to lure all these guys away, and we're going to come back, and we'll have a nice axe there for us. So come here, nerds. Hey, boys. Come on. Come on. So we're going to do just like we learned uh, in the last part, how to round up a big group of zombies. We're going to lure them away from this gas station. This gas station is going to be a great resource for us. It's going to have cigarettes uh, if we were running smoker. Um, it's also going to have, we're not running smoker, but if you are advanced and you went to the next step of, you know, my suggested build and you've taken smoker, if we can get in here, we'll get all the smokes we're going to need for quite a while. We'll be able to get uh, more water, more drinks, and a bunch of food, enough to get us sorted for definitely a while. Uh, so we're just going to take this little group here. These guys don't seem to be too much of a problem, but we'll pick them up just so they're not an issue. These guys as well. Might as well just bring in everybody. Come on, everybody. Let's just, let's just take everybody out of the picture so we don't have to worry about it. So again, remember, your walking speed is faster than the zombie speed. So as long as you pay attention, make sure you have a nice open area. I'm trying to keep them in a nice tight group, though, so that I don't lose any. If I were to just say walk straight, these ones in the end would end up starting to lose interest and kind of fall off and be left over here. So I don't want that. I want them all to come with me. I want everybody just pulled out of this area. So we can come back here, loot the gas station, pump our uh, pump our gas, and be 100% ready. Because uh, we're going to make a bit of a drive. Um, my next uh, stop on this on this trip is going to be the military surplus store on the west side of the map. Um, on the way there, we're likely to see a group of survivor uh, uh, zombies, or like a group with a survivor zombie where we can get a big backpack. But if we don't, on the way there, we'll be able to get a, a nice uh, big backpack there, probably. Uh, there's usually at least a hiking bag or something in that store. Plus a bunch of weapons, guns, like all the stuff you really need um, as far as gear to survive. Um, so here we go. We're just going to kite these guys around a bit. Shouldn't be. Do we have any more that we got? Oh, we got another little group over here. Come here, guys. Come, on, come over here. Again, we're trying to get them all together so we can just kind of ditch them all at once. So I'll cut through this way. Round, round up. Come on. Yeehaw. Rawhide. Psh. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's a bit like herding cats. You know, you just got to kind of, you just got to kind of keep them all interested. Not lose any of the ones in the back, so they kind of straggle away. Like this one's trying to be a straggler. Get angry at me. Come on. Come on, everybody. I'm going to try to bring them more over here than, uh, you know, toward the edge, because that's where I'm going to come back out myself. So let's, let's round them up nice and good. Come on, everybody. Come this way. All right. Come on. Now, again, we've already cleared out in here, so we know this is safe. We know... That when I go into this area, there's not going to be zombies in here. So we've already done we've already done the uh, the due diligence of clearing this area out. So we can just come over here. I'm even going to come down this way a bit and lure them a bit more. All the way to the corner. So as far away from where I'm actually going to be as possible. And then we're going to yeet the fence. Yeet. And again, we're back in a completely open area without any zombies. Now we're just going to walk back around the side and back to the gas station 
I'll probably fast forward through this part. It's just gonna be me walking for a couple minutes. Nothing super interesting. Did any of these? I didn't kill anybody over here with a watch, eh? Would have been nice. Would be nice to have a watch. Hopefully, the guy we killed up there with the axe has a watch. Maybe anything in the back of this truck. Nothing I really care about. We can also we could also take the time to loot all these cars, but uh, a little duct tape that's never not useful for repairing your weapons later on. That car is locked. You could take the time if you want to loot these cars. Of course, there might be some cigarettes or meds in the cars, or uh, you know, I don't typically take the time, but. It's definitely a, a, a viable resource. You might find some useful things. Uh, nothing on that guy I really care about. Do we check this truck over here? Now, I do recommend never running. I am jogging just a little bit here and there just for the sake of speeding up the video. But it's, you know, really I would recommend just walking and saving all your stamina in case you do have to fight. I can't believe none of these guys kill I killed had a watch. This guy doesn't have a watch. They literally that guy has a shotgun though. Shotgun, but no watch. Alright, now we should be able to relatively easily walk up to this gas station and get some food, get pump our gas, get some cigarettes and water and everything we need to live and be out of here. Assuming uh, no other groups have wandered in or now, if that does happen, though, if you come back and there's other zombies, you know, just do it again. You, there's nothing uh, stopping you. Uh, PZ is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about long-term survival. So it's not really about how much can I accomplish day one. It's about how long I can survive. So if I come back here and there's three more groups over here, I'll just do the same thing. I'll round them all up again, pull them all away again, uh, you know, and I'll keep doing that until I've got the area clear. Um, our guy is not powerful enough yet to be fighting large groups and hordes. We're going to get there eventually once we get our weapon skills up a bit more. Uh, we have zero weapon skills right now. So uh, once we get the weapon skills up, you know, that'll be a lot easier for us. But for right now, we're not that powerful. So luring and pulling zombies away is definitely a, a great asset for us and a good skill to learn uh, for later on for, you know, not just this situation, but lots of situations. Now, the only real problem that could arise here is if an alarm goes off when I when I go into this place. Now, that could happen. I've had that happen several times, actually. This, this place does seem to be alarmed quite often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I pump my gas first. So before I set the alarm off or potentially open the door and maybe set the alarm off, I'm going to make sure my car is 100% good to go. If we set an alarm off here, we're going to bail on this place and we'll, we'll stop someplace else and get food. So I'm going to come over to this guy and make sure I got the hatchet that I remember this guy had. He, this guy does not have a watch either, which is super unfortunate. Um, and we're going to go ahead over here. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed that there is no alarm on this place. Uh, do we have any food out in these? No. Bummer. Okay, the, the doors are locked, so we're going to have to break a window. Now, when you break a window, I right-click the window and uh, hit break. That'll always one-shot the window. So I recommend that as opposed to just hitting it yourself. Now, this is super important. Make sure you have a weapon in your hand and clear the glass out of the window before you jump through. Or you can cut yourself and, uh, you know, if it's just a cut, say you scratch your left hand, not a, not a huge deal. Now, here we go. Here's cigarettes. So if we had taken smoker, we would be pretty set here with all the cigarettes we find. So if you start getting to this point uh, where you're able to do this pretty regularly, get in here and loot all these cigarettes, then I would say start taking smoker. Add smoker to your build and uh, start taking a weapon specialization like baseball player. And here we go. Now we just get basically all the food and water we're going to need for like a long time. I'm going to take just the stuff that I actually care about. We're going to take water bottles, um, uh, some alcohol wipes and painkillers will be good. Just in case we do get hurt, we're going to try to play to not get hurt. But you never know. Uh, granola bars, chips, these are great. Um, the sodas, I don't typically take too many of. They're kind of heavy. And with the water bottles, you automatically drink. Uh, we're going to grab some comic books. Those are really great for helping manage our mood if we need. Um, the All of this food is great. We don't take the... Uh, the popcorn is one of the items I hate as far as food in the game. Uh, you have to cook it or you can eat it and it makes you super sad. But it's not a really useful item. Vitamins are great. You always want to pick up vitamins, beta blockers, or anything like that anytime you see it. Uh, also, comic books and red books. 
magazines aren't bad, but you know, it's more about the comic books and red books that are super important. I mean, that's a huge amount of water bottles. We're going to be super heavy here. Um, I shouldn't be carrying this much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out to the car and drop this stuff off. I don't want to be this heavy. Uh, that could definitely become an issue really quick. So we're going to go over here. Oh, we got to, oh no, we got them coming back into the area. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the car and we're going to bug out. We've got enough supplies. We don't need to continue. We're not going to push it. There's only a few of them, uh, but they're starting to come back in, and we, we've gotten everything we need from there. We've got loads of food to last for a while. we got tons of water. Uh, we, we want for nothing, essentially, at this point. Uh, but I am going to take all this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, I'm too heavy right now, and I never, ever want to be fighting with an, uh, you know, the overweight uh, debuff. Uh, if we fight with that, we're very likely to get killed. So we want to make sure we get all this stuff into the seats of our car. Remember, you can switch through the containers by holding shift and then rolling your mouse. So we're going to get all this stuff out of the car. Uh, now we've lost the debuffs. We're good to go. Here we go. We're out of here. Now, it's getting dark. Uh, so we're going to just uh, drive slowly. We're going to turn the lights on. You can turn the lights on in your car with this button down here. Or you can hold the V menu and do it through there. But, you know, there's a button right here on your console. So we're just going to carefully drive up the street, take our time. We don't want to be running over zombies. That'll do a huge amount of damage to your car. And, uh, you know, we took a lot of effort to get this car. And having this car is a big advantage. So whatever we're going to try to do our best not to do any damage to the car. So we're going to not drive over any bodies. We're not going to drive over any zombies. We're going to try to just avoid everything. Nice, careful driving is key here. And we're going to make our way towards the military base. I mean, the military uh, surplus store, excuse me. We're coming by one of my favorite bases in the game right here. This is the uh, Rosewood Fire Station. I really love this place. It's fenced in three quarters of the way around. If you can build a big wall here in the front, you have a giant yard in which to do all your stuff. Really great base location. One of my absolute favorites. In fact, we may end up coming back and living there. Uh, but for right now, we've got a plan. So we're gonna we're gonna do a few things, hit a few places, um, and just make our way out. So here we go. I wish it hadn't taken us quite so long because it's pretty late. We're probably gonna start getting tired soon. Um, so we're gonna have to find a place to spend the night. But that's okay. We're gonna spend the night in the car, and I'll show you guys how we can do that safely without very much worry of having to. Uh, you know, be woken up and, and murdered in our car by zombies, which is basically the main key. Again, this game, it's not its not a race. It's not, you know, how much can you get in day one or can you get to a base on day one? It's can you survive? So we're all we're trying to do is survive. So we're going to try to... Uh, we're going to drive down this road. Now, I went all the way to the north side of Rosewood, uh, and then I continued west um, out towards the military surplus store. Now, this is a great road because, because, as you see, there's barely any zombies out here. This is, like, very rural, um, and zombies are typically mostly in the city areas. So this road is typically pretty clear. Uh, we might see a group of uh, survivors, though, or a group with a survivor zombie in it with a big backpack. And if we do see that, we're going to try to probably stop and get it. Um, but if we see someplace that has a car... That's probably where we're going to spend the night. So if we find a car crash along this road, so there it is. We're starting to get drowsy. So now we don't want to fight 100%. We're going to try to avoid fighting at all costs. Our combat is going to be severely diminished at this point. Ha! Huh. So we have some things happening here. So this is a group I was talking about. This group will have a survivor in it. See that guy with the backpack? So this group has a survivor in it. So that guy with the backpack there. Uh, unfortunately, it's nighttime, and there's a bunch of uh, bad guys around. So, um, unfortunately, we didn't find a car a little sooner that we could sleep next to. So what we're going to do is we're going to back off here. We're going to back off to a nice, safe spot. Now, I would like to park next to another car, uh, but we didn't find one. So we're going to adapt and overcome. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to find a nice spot to just chill. I'm going to get out of the car, and I'm just going to yell. And we're just going to keep watch for a minute and see if anybody comes. 
If somebody comes, we can get back in the car and drive away. Again, we, we're not fighting right now because we're drowsy. Our combat effectiveness is going to be severely diminished. But as long as we can yell and nobody comes, we should be able to sleep here and it'll be okay. Now, we're, we're in the car, so if zombies show up, we should get woken up. We look, we look pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the car. I'm going to eat a little bit of our food. We do have some food that's going bad, like we have fresh yogurt. Uh, this is going to go bad. It's only 30 calories, but we're going to eat this. Remember, we, we're going to keep an eye on our weight. Our weight is good. We don't have any up or down chevrons. So a little bit of food there, eating some of our perishable food. We're going to shut the car off. We're going to shut the lights off. One last look around, make sure nobody's here. If you hit the V menu, and then we're going to hit sleep in the car. So here we go. We're going to sleep. Everything seems okay. We're not... And good morning, everyone. Happy Apocalypse. I hope you're having a great day. Now, unfortunately, it's a foggy day. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, we're going to do something else here. Let's see if we have the emergency uh, broadcast station. Do we have the emergency broadcast station? We're going to start checking all of the radios and cars that we see uh, to see if they have emergency broadcast preset. This car doesn't have it. Um, but that's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly work on killing my way up the street into this group of zombies. So we're going to look ahead. There's only a couple, so we're just going to kill this guy here. Hopefully he has a watch for me. I really would enjoy a watch at this point. Um, still, still no watch. And we're just going to take it real slow. Uh, I want to get to that group of zombies with the survivor in it. I really want that backpack. But we don't want to aggro the whole group. And I'm going to show you how you can pull little bits of the horde away until we uh, whittle them down. So we're just going to fight our way up the road here. They are a bit more up the road, but uh, we can kill these guys. And, uh, you know, single zombies by themselves is a good chance for us to, A, work on our combat skills. B, potentially get some loot. This one doesn't look like it has a watch either. We're getting extremely unlucky unlucky with, uh, with the watch drops right now. But that's okay. And I'll, I'll show you guys the technique uh, for how to sleep in the car that I was looking for. If we were able to find a, you know, a crash car, that's where I would have slept. But, you know, we, you know, sometimes you don't get what you want in this game. It's a, it's a very RNG based. So uh, you got to adapt and overcome. Sometimes you have to just sleep in your car without another car next to you. All right. So here we go. There's the, there's the group there we're worried about. Uh, so I'm going to turn the car off. Now I'm going to edge slowly closer to this group up here until one or two of them notice me. And then they're gonna come at me, I'm gonna kill them, and I'm gonna keep whittling the group down, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk a little closer, and I'm just gonna keep edging a little bit closer until one of them notices me. Now, there is a leader in this group. Um, it's potentially that guy, actually. Now, if the leader is aggroed at us, the whole group is gonna come. That's really not what we want, so we're just gonna be really careful trying not to pull all of them so we're just going to move a little bit closer a little bit closer until we aggro one of them here we go we got one and we're going to back up now this is how you can uh, handle big groups like this without having to fight 20 of them at a time you want to use this technique to break up the hordes into little bits okay so we're looking good over there none of the other ones came take this guy out Great if you had a watch for me, my friend. Holster, shoes, ranger clothes, nothing. Okay. And here we go. We're going to continue to do this. Come on, friends. There we go. We got another. We got two this time. We're going to back off. Oh, no. We only got the one, but that's okay. Again, it's it's not a race. This is, this is not a, a marathon. It's not... Who can kill, you know, a thousand zombies the quickest? We want to live the longest. This game is about who can live the longest. And that's going to be us. We're going to live for a really long time. What is this watch loot right now? I'm getting the worst draws on these watches. It's kind of crazy. So again, we, we're going to be really careful here. We don't... Oh, we pulled... Looks like we got four that time. So this time we're going to have to be a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more fighty. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how we can use our car as an advantage. Um, zombies aren't very good at pathing. They're not. They're they're zombies. They're not very smart about going around objects and things like that. So say these guys aren't very bunched up. But let's let's bunch them up so I can show you guys the technique here. 
So say you guys, you pull more than you wanted, and you end up with this group here, uh, and you're like, man, I fight all these ones together. Well, what you can do is use your car to your advantage. So I'm going to walk him over here to the car. I'm like, all these guys are too close. I don't like this. And I'm going to go next to my car, and then I'm going to cut this way. And that's going to straighten them all out into a nice single file line of, for me to fight. Because they're not very good at pathing around the car. And then we're going to hold right click and we're just going to keep backing up. And as you can see, and now if this was a bunch of zombies and they started getting bunched up again, I would just do it again. I would go back around the car, wrap them around again, straighten out the group. Uh, so use your car, or use buildings. What? How do none of these guys, I almost feel like something is wrong with my game. I can't believe we haven't gotten a watch yet. It's crazy. Uh, so that use your car, use buildings, use the way zombies move and path to your advantage. Um, all right, so we got a few more here already. Okay, nice. We're going to back off here so we don't pull the rest of the group. Again, we don't want to fight all of these guys, but we can, you know, we can handle three. Three is no worry. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this guy out. Okay, nice. And you, my friend, are going down. And you, sir. I mean, ma'am. Oh my god, we did it. We found a watch. Put on. We know what time it is. Let's go. We out here. Uh, now, this is a great... Uh, you want to look at things like this when you find this stuff. Now, riding helmets are great. As you can see, it gives me 100% bite and scratch defense on my head with no speed debuff. So this is a great item to put on and wear. Uh, again, we like to be quick on our feet and move as much as we can. So if you find an item uh, like firefighter clothes, for example, uh, uh, I really don't enjoy. Uh, firefighter clothes have a lot of protection and a lot of insulation, but they really, really, really reduce your combat speed. And I want to be able to move away from the zombies. That's most important to me. Uh, I'm, we're going to learn how to not get hit by the zombies so that we don't need the armor uh, instead of wearing heavy armor that slows us down and makes it easier for the zombies to catch. Now, I would like to get a digital watch so that I can see the temperature and the date. That would be nice. But uh, So there's other things here, like this denim shirt might not be bad to wear. Now, I did mess it up because I'm using a bladed weapon. If I was using a blunt weapon, like the hammer, it wouldn't be messing up their clothes. So if you're playing and it's cold outside and you really need to get, like, I need this guy's hoodie, you know, I would kill him with a hammer instead of uh, killing him with um, with a bladed weapon. Now, this basically works for most things except for certain things like the shovel. Even though the shovel is considered a long blunt, because it's a bladed shovel, like it's got a metal, you know, kind of blade on the end, it'll still mess up their clothing. So we don't want that. So we've managed to kill the survivor zombie we really were worried about. So now this guy, we've got a hoodie. So that would actually, this would, uh, we can put this on, uh, hood down. We don't want to put the hood up or it'll make it to us take our helmet off. So we're wearing the helmet and it doesn't have any speed debuff or anything on it. So it's good for us to wear. It keeps us warm. A little bit of protection. Some leather gloves. These are great. A little bit of protection for our hands. Now I want you to notice these though. The riding boots. Now these do give you a run speed debuff. So I'm not going to put these on. Uh, we're not running very much. Uh, but we don't want to have a debuff when we're running. And this backpack is the second best backpack we can get in the game. Uh, it's got uh, it's uh, 18 storage for us because we're running disorganized. Um, and it's got a 85% uh, weight reduction. And we were lucky there's two cans of corned beef uh, in the guy's backpack as well. So that's really awesome. Uh, we're getting a little hungry here, so we're going to eat some of our perishable food. We're going to eat some yogurt. We're going to take a peek at our... Uh, weight with our chevrons again. We're doing really good on our chevrons. So we're okay there uh, We are slightly overweight. So we're gonna take some stuff off here. Let's put uh, the candy package on our seat We're gonna put uh, the cigarettes that we don't need over there um, We'll keep the kitchen knives on us the magazine. We don't need on us the map um, We want to keep a bottle of water in our main inventory so that we you know We have one to drink and we're gonna take an extra one and put it in our backpack as a backup, and we can swap that out. We don't need the duct tape on us, the comic books, uh, the chips, the chocolate. We're going to eat this fresh stuff that's going to go bad first. We can take all this other stuff and put it in our backpack now, and that'll get the weight off our main character. So we're going to put all this stuff in our backpack. You see our weight's down to 7 out of 15. We're doing good. No moodles. We're doing great. Everything's going lovely. 
on the move. Now, I'm not going to even bother killing the rest of these zombies. The only one I wanted to kill was the one with the backpack. So I'm not going to bother with the rest of these ones. Uh, I really have no reason to mess with those guys. Maybe if one of them had a weapon stuck in them or, uh, you know, I had a reason. You can see a weapon, like if one had an axe stuck in them or something, I might kill the rest. But I got the backpack I needed. Uh, I'm not interested in fighting those guys. We have things to do. So we're out of here. We're trying to get to the, mili uh, the military surplus store. So uh, we're going to continue along this road. Now I'll show this on the map so you guys know right, to know, know right where to go. Um, basically, you go all the way west from Rosewood, the, follow the road, it turns north, and then when the road turns back west that way, you just go straight. Now, if you, can, if you just follow this road straight, it'll take you basically straight to the military surplus store, which is a great resource. We already have weapons, some meds, uh, you know, food. Uh, this will give us uh, some more gear. Maybe we can find a poncho. Maybe we can get, uh, you know, we could get guns and ammo if you, if you wanted to go that route. We're probably not going to shoot too many guns uh, for a while, but, I mean, if you want to mess around with guns, you can do that as well. Uh, guns can be extremely fun in this game. They are dangerous, though. They will, you know, call zombies from 100 tiles uh, if you're using a shotgun, the loudest gun, or less, depending on which gun you're using. But uh, without any aiming skill, I wouldn't recommend using any gun other than a shotgun until about uh, aim skill level 4. Uh, all the other guns are going to be basically useless. On top of that, shotguns are the best guns for leveling your aiming up. Uh, they hit multiple targets, so you get more XP per shot. And shotguns have a built-in XP modifier, uh, so you actually get more XP anyway just from using shotguns. So there's a lot of reasons to level up using shotguns. It's definitely the method. So we're going to uh, drive through here now. We're just going to keep driving north. And uh, if we follow this straight ahead, this is the military surplus store. This is where we're headed. Uh, we're going to do our, our thing here. I'm going to pop out of the car here and handle this guy. And we're going to see how many of these other dudes are coming this way. If there's a bunch around this store, we're just going to do another pull and drag them all away. Uh, this guy's got a satchel. A varsity jacket. This is a great item. Uh, this is my favorite jacket in the game uh, because it's a jacket, so it's an outer layer, and it's got no speed debuff. So I'm always looking for a nice uh, varsity jacket to keep us warm. We got some people breaking windows over here, so we got some people on us. Oh yeah, we got a bunch, so this is definitely a pull situation. Here we go, we're, we're back to pulling all the zombies away from the store that we're trying to go to. As you guys should be getting good good at this at this point. Uh, this is, this is <laughs> as you can see, a really, really good strategy for moving zombies away from where you want to be. Now once we get established in this store, uh, we're going to start trying to... Uh, work on our combat skills and start fighting more zombies, but for now, we're just going to pull them away. Really, really valid strat. Uh, let's see, let's just make sure we're not losing too many. This doesn't look like too many really at all, which is great. Come on, friends. Join the party, everybody. Go this way. We're just, we just want to round up basically all the zombies we can get. We want all of the all of our friends to be out of this area. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, wrapping her around, making sure we got a nice tight group. You know, the usual same technique, exact same technique. We want to keep walking around, keep them nice and close. Uh, so that they we don't lose any stragglers, because the stragglers will, you know, kind of wander off. We gotta keep aggro on all of them. So we just wanna keep wandering them around. Just not, don't get panicked, just take your time. You know, make sure you have a nice clean path to go into. Notice that I, I have no need to run. I'm not running at all. There hasn't been any even really close calls where I've needed to even jog even a little bit. We'll just pick this guy up so he stays with us. Come on, guys. We're going to go this way. I don't want to lose those ones. Come on, everybody. Make sure we don't have any more that we want to pick up over here. Oh, we got a couple over here to pick up. So, come on, everybody. Uh, so, this is a grocery store right here. So, this is a great place to, you know, if you weren't able to get enough food at the gas station or 
you know, you needed more food or water or whatever you needed. There's a gas station right here and there's a medical place right there. So I want to try to pull the zombies away from these two spots. I don't want to uh, leave a bunch uh, in front of the, the grocery store in the medical place because we're going to want to be able to get into there. So we're just going to keep yelling, keep kiting, and make sure we don't lose any. We got this guy up here. Come on, dude. All right, everybody join the party. Come on. All right, we're doing good. Everything's great. Everybody's chasing us. Super good. Come on, friends. Okay. I'm just gonna wrap her around, make sure we uh, got everybody with us again. We got a couple trickling in from the side over here. So I want to make sure that we got these guys with us. And just loop them all back into the group. There we go, nice. Okay, we're gonna keep heading this way now. All right, now this building is uh, probably a pretty good building to lose them around, this one right over here. So we're just gonna walk them down here. Continuing to wander them back and forth. Come on, guys. Do, 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 do. Just get the whole group here. So I'm going to come up to the front of this building here and try to make sure we pull all, most of them out of this way. And then we're going to go back around the back side of the building. So I wanted to aggro all the ones from the front. Getting a little close here, so I'm just going to give it a little jog. But as you can see, that's, you know, that's it. I just wanted to make sure I made through that gap. I didn't want it to get too close. So here we go. So the front of this place should be cleared out now. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them around the back of the building, and then we're just going to ditch them. So we're just going to continue to bring them over here. Come on, everybody. We don't want them to get stuck in the front of the building. We don't want them to get uh, lose aggro, so we're just going to keep wrapping them around. Nice little tight ball of zombies is what you're looking for here. Again, no rush. Take your time with this. You know, rushing is how you get in trouble. This is... This is, uh, you know, you want to do it right, you want to do it once, you don't want to have to do it multiple times and have ones left over. So we're just trying to get a nice little pile of zombies here. And that should be probably pretty good there. Okay, now that we've got the nice little tight group, they're all following us this way, we're going to run. So now they're going to chase us this way. So we're going to come down here, we're going to wrap around the edge of the building, they're going to line of sight us here. We're going to lose line of sight there. We're going to break line of sight again up this way. And that should be it. We should be clear of all zombies. So we look around. Remember when we had a bunch of zombies that were a problem? They're all gone. That's it. So use your building. If you break line of sight twice and, and then run away from that area, they, they're not smart enough to keep up with you. Uh, if they even if one did see me from like a ways away, they would you know, like look at how clear we've made the area. So now basically this whole grocery store is ours, this medical place is ours, and the military surplus store is ours. We can go take all the loot from there at our leisure, get completely geared up and set. Uh, we're getting a little hungry. Do we have any? Uh, we have some broccoli. So again, we're gonna eat through our uh, perishables first. We'll eat the uh, granola bar. Make sure and eat your perishable first. Now, there's a couple zombies left, but that's actually a good thing. Uh, this gives us a chance to continue working on our weapon skill. And since we've had axes, we're going to continue trying to push up the axe tree. Better watch or anything? Nope. So we're just going to take care of the, uh, the couple stragglers that are left over. Now, again, if there was a bunch, you know, more than you feel like you should be taking on, just do another pull. Do you, you know, just start over, reset it, and do it again. There's no shame in having to do a second pull. Uh, but once you, you know, get pretty well practiced at it and pretty good at it, uh, then you shouldn't have to do it more than once. We got a couple over there. Now, before I go into a building, I typically like to make sure that the outside of the building is completely clear. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take care of these guys just to make sure they're not a problem. I am going to scan around and make sure that there's not a big, huge group right next to them. That's going to be a problem if I get near. But we're looking pretty good. 
We can handle these three, no worries. We're gonna just take these dudes out. Couple more. Looking great. Any of these guys got a good watch? Nope, no digi watches. Oop. Man, I really wish you could lock these boxes in place. Uh, it's really frustrating. This, you can push that, but all that does is it stops the box from closing. Clothing? Closing? You can't actually pin it in place. I really wish that was a thing. Because I hate when you accidentally move it like that. Come on, guy. I can't believe how bad our, our watch luck has been so far. It's been absolutely atrocious. So it looks like we're pretty clear all the way around the building now. So let's go check out what kind of loot we got in the Millie Surplus Store. Now this is a completely vanilla building. This is in the game. Everybody that's playing Project Zomboid on the new build has this building in their game. And uh, this loot in here is is amazing, actually. This is a, a great resource, a uh, great place to come and get sorted out. If we hadn't found that group of uh, zombies with the big backpack, we're likely to find a backpack in here. No alarm. That's amazing. All right, let's see what kind of loot we got. We have anything cool? Nothing in there. Uh, we got a holster, a candle. We don't really care about matches and lighters, more stuff. You know, especially if you took smoker, all sorts of stuff. So a poncho we're gonna take. That's gonna be super great. You can wear a, a bulletproof vest. This has no speed debuff. Also keeps you a little bit warm. Uh, the military pants are some of the best pants you can wear in the game. Uh, they have no debuff, but they have good bite and scratch resistance. I'm going to trade for the urban camo just because I like the look better. And, uh, you know, we can always come back here and get more of this stuff. There's the jet, the, uh, the military shirt you could wear as well. Like, there's just a huge amount of clothes and gear here. Uh, ponchos are great for if you're out in the rain or uh, snow for not getting sick. They help you from not getting all wet. Uh, flashlight, super useful. More matches. Uh, tarp. Military boots. Now, military boots you might be tempted to wear, again... But they have really great insulation, you know, um, protection. But they have that run speed modifier. So we're not looking for anything that makes us slower. Uh, woolly pants, uh, uh, padded pants and woolly hat. That's some amazing winter gear. We don't need that yet, though, as we just spawned in and it's summertime. Some hunting knives. Those are good weapons. We'll grab those. Uh, more ponchos. Tons more uh, winter stuff. We are going to put on the scarf. Uh, the scarf, again, gives us a little bit of neck protection, 10% scratch. It's not a lot, but at least it's something. Uh, it'll make us a little bit warmer. And uh, we're also put on the ski goggles because they look cool. And look at us, man. We, we're looking great. Uh, let's see. What else we got over here? Military boots. We don't care. More military boots. Holsters. More stuff. More lighters. We probably have plenty. A duffel bag. So if we didn't, hadn't found a bag yet, that would have been our bag for us. But we did get one. Uh, we're going to check these radios. We should be able to get the emergency broadcast station off these. There we go. So each time you spawn into a world, uh, the, the game generates a random emergency broadcast station. Now, in our world, this time, it's uh, channel 91. So we're going to tune all our radios into 91, and on the hour, we'll get weather reports. Uh, we'll get information about when the helicopter's in the air. It'll say air activity detected. Uh, it's a really, really neat thing. I love that. And we can uh, fill up our water bottles in here. So with high thirst, what I do is I carry water bottles around me. Uh, I like to keep one in my inventory and two in my backpack. And then every time I get a chance, whenever I'm at a water uh, fountain or, you know, a sink or a toilet or whatever it is, uh, I'll grab some scissors. That'll be good. Um, I fill those up. Some more cigarettes. Again, if we were running smoker, grab a pen so we can mark our map. Uh, you could probably start collecting garbage bags right off the bat. You're going to eventually need those for making water dispensers. Now, there's a locked door here. There's a couple things we could do here. We could either start luring one zombie at a time into this area. In fact, there was a zombie over here. Let's see if we can make it work. Let's see if I can show you guys the cheese a uh, key trick. There's this zombie here. So if you find a zombie that is near this building and it's by himself, you can do this trick. We might get lucky and this might not work, but... Uh, the zombie, if you kill a zombie inside of a building, it has a chance to drop the key, and it's a pretty good chance. If we did this probably, you know, three to five times, uh, we're very likely to get a key for the building. Now, the zombie doesn't need to spawn in that building. It just needs to die inside of the building. So if we drag this guy over inside the building and kill him inside, uh, there's a pretty solid chance that he might drop us the key, and then we'll be able to get back into that locked room. So come on back in here, my guy. Come on, friend. Come on.
Come on. Right this way. Come here. Okay, so now we're going to kill this guy inside the building. And he's going to drop us a key if we're lucky. Ah, uh, we didn't get lucky. No key. So I'm not going to leave this guy in the building, though, because we're going to stay in here. So I'm going to bring this guy back outside. That's unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate. Um, almost makes me want to try it again. Let me see if there's any more in the woods over here. We got any more zombies over here? Because it would be really handy if we got the key. We could sleep in that back room in, like, complete safety. Uh, it would be really great. So usually there's a couple back here in the woods. We got any guys over here? No, we're looking pretty clear, unfortunately. All right, well, regardless. If, you, if you're lucky enough to get a key, that'll help you out. If you're unlucky like me, we didn't get a key this time, that's okay. We can still go in the back room and see what's there. So we're going to come over here. We're going to whack this door down. So you can bash this door down with uh, basically any melee weapon. You just have to keep hitting it. Axes work really good. There you go. So you don't need to you don't need a sledgehammer to get in there. And here you go. Look, boom. This is vanilla. We're on apocalypse settings. We haven't turned up the uh, you know the rates at all. We're not using any mods. And just look how much ammo and guns and stuff in here. So if you wanted to you know crack off some guns and have some fun, uh, you can definitely come here and get some stuff. Even gun you know a scope, recoil pads, parts, uh, lights, uh, some ear protect. Like so much stuff in here. It's kind of bonkers. And again, we're on completely vanilla apocalypse settings. I haven't turned anything up. We do have a shotgun. Uh, I haven't turned anything up, and I haven't... Um, we don't have, we're running zero mods at all. Um, now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'll probably end up... Can I sleep? In, can I fit a bed in here, maybe? So what I'll probably end up doing is moving uh, this... If I could have gotten a key, I would have moved one of these cots in here and, and used this as a base for now. Uh, but we didn't get a key. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this uh, pick this uh, stretcher bed up. And we're going to move it into the bathroom. And we should be able to use that as a sleeping spot. Oh. So sometimes when you pick things up in this game, it'll either pick up and go into your inventory. Or it'll drop pieces on the ground. And something to remember is uh, like big beds and things like that have a chance to break. These don't have a chance to break. So it'll always drop the two pieces. But in order to be able to put it back down, I need both pieces. Uh, if it's something heavy that you can't carry both pieces, bring one piece over here, put it on the ground, have the other piece in your inventory. So if, say this was a heavy thing, like a two-piece bed, I would bring one piece over here, I'd have the other piece in my inventory, go on the put-down thing, and then I could put it down right here. So we're going to put this down right about her. And this should be able to... This is where we're going to sleep for the night. We're not going to sleep yet. And this is where we're going to crash for the night. So we've made our way over to the Millie Surplus Store. We've got tons of weapons, tons of food. Uh, we're completely set for a little while. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I, I hope you uh, learned some things. This is where I would head next. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you learned anything, I'd love it if you hit the follow button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to come back for uh, more and see where we're going to go next. Uh, we're going to have a little snack, hang out for a little while, and get some sleep. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue our adventure tomorrow. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese out.